Hi guys and welcome to a windy day. Uh, welcome back to my channel Car Focus. Today is a review and as you can see behind me it is a, a heavily tuned Mark III Ford Focus RS. It belongs to Mr Cleaver. If you're familiar with the RS group you'll probably know who he is. But yeah, nitrous blue, 400 plus brake, lots of modifications. Let's uh, have a quick chat with Ian. He'll talk us around the car and then we'll go for a spin and see exactly what it's like to drive. Right, Mr Cleaver. How you doing mate? I'm good Gary, how are you? Welcome to the channel. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, right, so let's get started. So obviously this is your Ford Focus RS. Yep. Um, so start us off from the outside of the car. What have you done to it? Yeah, so um, I guess I've gone for sort of a, a bit of sort of vinyl wrapping on the car. So it's all done by day wraps. Yeah. So we've got accents around the headlights and trying to sort of like square and box out the fog lights around to give it a bit more attitude. Yeah. We've obviously got the dynamic stripe down the side, which is nice and um, sort of swooshy. Yeah, looks, they say. looks pretty looks cool. Carbon mirrors that were done by uh, paint mods. Um, carbon vinyl roof as well, also done by day wraps. Uh, nice gloss finish to that. Yeah, a lot of um, carbon I can see on the carbon car. Carbon shark fin by paint mods. Um, and then we move around to sort of more of the rear where we've got the carbon spoiler, which is done by David Curro himself. Okay. A um, couple of little spats uh, from one of the Maxton kits. Had the full Maxton splitter on, but that didn't really survive the snow. Yeah. Um, and then we've got rear diffuser from uh, Joffo, Joffo okay. Performance. Okay, does he uh, custom make those or are they made to walk? Like, how does that work? Uh, custom made, so he's got a guy who uh, makes them up for him, sells them through his uh, performance store. That's okay. available online. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we've got the V3 mount tune exhaust, which sounds absolutely cracking. Don't do too much of a close up, my tips are dirty. <laughs> um, and then that's pretty much it from the uh, sort of the outside, um, styling wise. Um, obviously, the tint did smoke to rear lights, uh, yep. which everyone sort of raves about. Yeah, they look quite different, didn't they? They look yep. quite nice, make it sort of stand out. Yeah, it's a nice looking car, mate. I like what you've done. Um, obviously, not every RS is like this, so it's sort of a bit unique, isn't it, to you? Yeah, so, I kind of like things that stand out and uh, it's easily recognisable then when it's on track and you get the photos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone knows it's yours, didn't they? Last mod there, last little touch there, was the indicators, sequential indicators. Ah. That, uh, Mr Edwards has found. So uh, essentially they look a little bit like OEM, they wrap around, um, show more of the sort of LED down the side on the front face here, Yeah. so you get it into the rear, but lovely sequential mirror uh, so, indicators there. Um, and then obviously carbon uh, front number plates around and carbon uh, fog surrounds as well, so they've been on for about, uh, oh god, about year and a half now, they? so they were one of the first things we did. And how are they faring up now to sort of day-to-day -day use? Um, well, you can see there's quite a few sort of stone chips appearing, um, but that's to be expected from the front end. Yeah, um, yeah, But of I course. think overall, you know, um, it's absolutely faring up quite well. The fit was really good, fit was easy. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was really nice. No, it looks nice. I also see you've got the vents. Yep, so on again, the bonnet there. Vented by Nick Wiley. Yeah. Like everybody is in this place. <laughs> Apart from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again, nitrous blue um, bonnet uh, spray, again, paint mods. Okay, so that's pretty much it from that's the outside. Pretty much it from the so outside. You've done quite yeah. a lot. It's mainly sort of cosmetic bits, bobs here and there, sort of carbon, bits of wrap, and yeah. vents and stuff like that. Absolutely, yeah. Looks really cool. Okay, so if we talk about the. Um, the engine now, the yep. engine. So what, what have you done to the engine of this car? Um, so basically, I, I guess it's all the usual sort of bolt-ons. So we've got the uh, intercooler intake. Uh, we've obviously talked a bit about the mount tune exhaust. Yeah. Uh, we've done that. Um, we've also got uh, custom tune running on the car as well. So okay. I felt that a lot of the off-the-shelf maps are kind of dependent on the equipment then you buy so you have yeah. to match the revo with the revo stuff yeah. the mounting with the mounting stuff yeah. and for me i like to be a bit more sort of you know choose the best intercooler choose the best exhaust i like to mix and match so it's specifically tuned to your car yeah, rather than right. a kind of generic map yeah that's right so a guy, guy over in the states called ryan martin does it yeah uh, he works at pd tuning okay um so he effectively um gets me to do a couple of power runs yeah um send him the data logs it's all done through the cop handset uh, those data logs he analyzes, works out where he can tune, uh, tweak the map, uh, sends me a new flash map, uh, yep. that gets flashed on the car, um, and then I give him feedback. Is it flat? Is it quick? Is it faster? Yeah. Is it slower? Um, and then he takes that feedback, sends another map, and then we get it just right. So That's really cool. We're currently going through a tuning process now because of the, the exhaust that's been put on. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, 
really, really cool. Have you had it? Have dyno. you had it dynoed? It won't dyno. It won't so, dyno. Yeah, I, these are really hard to get really, an accurate really reading, hard, though, aren't yeah. they? That's right. So I know there's been problems um, sort of doing uh, these dyno runs. I did take it to uh, Devil yeah. Developments, put it on their dyno, um, but it was just incompatible with their dyno. It actually just it, it, it didn't even give us a reading. That's um, why I see people posting figures and they're disappointed with the figures, but I, I don't personally. I just completely ignore them yep. because I know they're so kind of all over the place when they're on a dyno. But we know that we know it's a quick car. We yeah. know it can well, keep you, up. You'll with, see that when you feel it. Anyway. Yeah, other yeah. quick cars. Um, so your standard internals, no, no forged internals or anything like that. Not yet. No, you're looking to do on that. The bucket list. Yeah. That seems to be quite a popular thing now, doesn't it? With people just wanting a bit more kind of reassurance, yeah. um, so to speak. It just adds a little bit more longevity to the engine as well. Yeah. So you're improving the reliability as you put more power through the engine. Yeah, okay. Right, so looking inside the car now, um, I can obviously see you've got some enhanced uh, cosmetic things, including a steering wheel. Yep. Um, what else have you done inside here? Um, so yeah, so you mentioned the steering wheel. So we've got a custom control steering wheel for carbon. Um, yeah. Love that, so uh, it's nice. really adds a nice touch. Um, again, full dash from um, paint mods, so it's carbon dipped. Yeah. Um, so that's all the surround. Just a complete uh, straight swap replacement. Straight swap yep. replacement. Yeah, that's right. Um, full performance gear knob. Yeah. Uh, in carbon, obviously. I like that. Um, just some little flashies, some like little blue trim pieces, which everyone sort of like. You can just sort of find those bits and pieces on eBay. And obviously, everyone's got these these little blue maps everywhere in the car. Yeah. Um, which are great because it's, uh, it's kind of hunt for space. <laughs> you get them and you open them with no instructions. <laughs> uh, even the, even the uh, Carb handset's got a nice little carbon cover on it as well. It's all very in keeping, isn't it? Um, You've got a carbon theme going on in there, it looks really good. Yeah, so uh, I've also got the uh, A post pillars um, on order as well from David Curran. Oh, well, so, up here. David Curran, yeah. So these A posts here are sort of plastic and grey. Ah, right. So they're going uh, lovely gloss, uh, proper uh, covered carbon as well. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting those uh, off David. That would look really sweet. And I can also see you've got the uh, shift light. Yeah, the, the shift? B2 shift light. So this is the same shift light that's used inside the um, the uh, S, uh, SS tuning steering yep, wheel. Yep. So where they do the steering wheel and they put the shift light in the steering wheel, um, that's the same module. Okay. Um, I just found the place in Australia that does it, ordered it from those guys. Um, and had it shipped over and had it as a separate module because I actually prefer where it's positioned. Yeah, it looks quite cool there. Because when you turn the steering wheel, put your hands over the shift lights, you can't see how you shift yeah. it on track. So that's a perfect place for when it's on uh, on track. No, that's fine. No, the car's looking lovely, mate. Um, I think we've had enough enough talking about the uh, the looks and what you've done to the, the car. I think we need to take it for a spin, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. So if you're happy to uh, hand me the keys Absolutely. and sit in the passenger seat, we'll go, yeah. for a, go for a quick blast. The carbon keys are here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, let's do it. No worries. Any gear? Any gear, yep. So you keep your foot to the floor with the uh, accelerator hard down and then just change gear with should, the clutch. Should we try it? Yeah, you can give it a go. Second gear. The yeah. suspension feels amazing, I'm not going to lie. It yeah, feels no, so flat. So flat, no uh, bouncing around. So this is in hard mode as well. So keep your foot down. Oh yeah! So basically it just holds the revs, cuts the revs, lets you change yeah. gear and then it uh, just powers it through. So. See, when you said about flat foot shifted, I thought yeah. it was going to hit the limiter. No, um, it won't. It holds it at five. Whenever you set it on the cob handset, you can cho choose the uh, the revs that it holds it at as well. That's so really that's cool. Perfect. But no, so what suspension setup are we running here? So this is KW coilovers DDCs. So the OEM switch that we've got for um, going into the race suspension, yeah. um, that actually controls the hardness and stiffness of the um, KW coilovers as well. Uh, we've also got white line sway bars, drop links, um, so you've replaced pretty much most of the suspension pretty much most of the suspension, component. yeah caster arms as well have been changed so mate i mean adjustable. we haven't even sort of pushed this into corners or anything but immediately it feels so nice so this is it, on the hard set yeah so your teeth aren't falling out so i found the old one the teeth are falling out so if we just pop that off you can then sort of like get an idea of what it's like when you're just driving around normally yeah so you'll get a bit more of a softer ride now you won't get the um the pogo in effect um, <laughs> so um so yeah, so you won't get the pogo in effect now and, and it's a lot more flatter, it's a lot more um, stable on the road as well. It feels that you can tell it's uh, a, a good quality, expensive setup. Yeah. Like my car, I've only got the springs. It just feels a little sloppier than this. Yep. It, it, yep. It's quite bouncy, it's a little bit more wallowy than this. Yep. This just feels amazing, it just feels solid. Yeah. 
That intake sounds pretty epic as well, doesn't it? The intake sounds really good. I do like the intake sound. I mean, there's not, you know, it's all about the sound when you change yeah. the intake anyway. But uh, yeah, it does sound great. So guys, obviously my my RS, you know, is tweaked and tuned here and there, but this is kind of like just on steroids and every other way. Immediately getting into it, it just feels a lot more sort of hyped and focused and everything about it really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can't not you can't not smile in one of these, especially when they're tuned. It's uh I tell you what the difference with mine is, mine's kind of um it feels almost a bit laggy and then all of a sudden the power kicks in and you're off. Yeah. Whereas this is quite this is quite smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's so quite... the torque curve on this, the torque comes in very, very early, but then the torque stays with the car all the way through. Yeah. So RPM range just progressively pulls you. That's right, yeah. It is quick though, it is quick. I've, I've... It's as well at the high end as well, when you give it a good boot to high end, it will actually pull quite nicely. It feels nice, mate. It does feel nice. It's very flat on a corner as well. But you'll also notice with the operating brakes as well, the brakes are very, very sharp as well. So some people, when they first drive it, the first thing they do is they put their brakes on like normal RS. Yeah, and yeah. They go through the windscreen. So. They do feel good. Yeah, they are. I mean, again, it's been optimised for the track, so <laughs> it's a lot of track usage. It's a mate. It's a well sorted car, mate. Yeah, it does feel very nice. Really happy with it. So we've got a few. There's a couple of S bends up here. We'll, we'll put it into these. Bit of power. Let's yeah, and let's uh, make sure we got the nice hard suspension on as well. So we're just up in the intensity of suspension. Intensity again. Of suspension, yeah. So we'll drop it into third. Little hill toe on the downshift. So on the brakes, yep, stopping nicely. It's flat as everything. Very flat. So it stays quite flat. I mean, you don't get hardly any body roll, and it just feels flat. And it feels secure on the road as well. I was going to say, because um, I haven't got a limit slip diff, so mine yeah. does feel a little bit more loose at the rear. Yeah. I know obviously the LSD is at the front, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. But it all works in sort of sync, doesn't it, um, yeah, with so the rear? Yeah, so it's basically, it's, 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 it's distributing the power to the front wheels, because obviously a lot of power is going through the front wheels yeah. anyway. Um, so it is actually pulling that car nicely into the corner. Um, it's more noticeable in the wet as well, um, because obviously in the wet where you're getting a lot of traction and slippage, then it will actually bite a lot better as well, reducing the power on one of the wheels and yeah. the other one, you know, keeping the power down. So. so it might not necessarily be as fun having the LSD because it's a more stable car, isn't it? Yeah, it's a more stable um, car. But definitely for like track and stuff like that, yep. you're going to get quicker lap you times, isn't lap times, yeah. absolutely. Yep. It feels lovely, mate. It really does. Yeah. I shouldn't do this because now I'm going to get back in mind. I'm going to be like, oh God, I want this, I want that. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then my wife divorces me. Well, that's it, yeah. So we'll just turn around, we'll head back, we'll do these, uh, these same bends here. So third gear. See, so yeah, it's a bit of a delay and then it comes then in there, doesn't it? Then, then you've got the power band. Then, yeah. yeah. And obviously if you're flat foot shifting, you're not actually wasting any of that boost. I keep forgetting about you're that. You're keeping the boost up all the time then. So let's try the flat foot out of the corner. Oh yeah, you can get some really quick gear changes, so you get can't you? Gear change, yeah. So you get a quick gear change. You've got a short shifter as well, so you get a quick gear change, and you keep the boost on, which is all the parts. So you just get a bit smaller, yeah. bump, and then you're in. Yeah. Like you say, when you go into the next gear, it's just there, isn't it? You just... Yeah. Are we uh, allowed to do a launch control? Yeah, we can do a launch. Yeah, control. is that yeah. all right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll find somewhere to do one. Yeah, we've got a straight bit of road around there. We'll uh, close if... road. <laughs> Obviously, we've gone to Mexico for this as well travelled a long way. Yeah. <laughs> we don't break speed limits anyway in these videos, so it's fine. Yeah. That intake noise is... So is it the ram area? It's the ram area intake. Yeah, that's impressive. It sounds really good. 
He's, have you taken the insulation off the yep, bonnet the as well? the insulation's gone. It's obviously vented as well, so you're getting a lot of the noise coming through. And you don't get that howling noise as well, do you, that you get? You know, no. with, with the mount tune intake, even, even with the sound suppression chamber, you still get the howl, howl don't you? yeah, that's right. Sounds really smart. There's a lot of theatre in there going on yeah. in this car. A yeah. lot of theatre. We pull in here. Where's he going? Is he wait for this car to go past? Hopefully we'll get a So again, so launch control is automatic. Oh it's already engaged. It's already engaged. So all you have to do is first gear, clutch down, accelerate to the floor, boom, bum 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 bum, off the clutch as fast as you can. Flat foot shift. Flat foot shift. Okay. Keep it down. Yep. Flat to the floor. shift feature yeah so you can flat foot shift right the way through the gear range as well so whereas standard launch control you can only really do it between foot well, you can only do it between first and second um, the flat foot shifting through all of the gears is really good fun that's amazing oh, oh there's uh, there he is there we go <laughs> good timing <laughs> you're gonna keep up <laughs> he's uh, so even on this bumpy road it's, we've got like yeah. uh, hard suspension still turned on, so even on this bumpy road, we're not actually losing our teeth. So, the, guys, this KW system that he's got is night and day uh, difference. It is amazing. It feels like, um, I mean, I've driven some quite expensive cars, like Audi R8 V10 Plus, that's got like magnetic suspension. Yeah. It feels like a high quality, good suspension setup, yeah. which it obviously is, isn't it? It transformed the car when I fitted it. I actually, I just loved it. And I would say, just from driving this car now, if anybody is considering getting something like this, I'd definitely recommend it. Yeah. Obviously it costs a bit, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a worthy investment, isn't it? Yeah. But no, Ian, thanks mate for letting me uh, letting me drive Hang this. Around. Having, yeah. having a little hoon. Um, we're gonna go and have a little play now in all the cars. Hit some nice roads, get a bite to eat. But no, I'm really impressed, mate. It's kind of, like I say, got me thinking about modifications and stuff, but I've got to try and be strict. Yeah. With myself because you just don't stop, do you? you no, there's no, there's no going on and on. There's no end to it. Yeah, but no, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this car. Um, hopefully, there'll be more cars like this in the future. But until the next video from me and from Ian, we'll see you soon. See you guys. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs>